Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is about the basic shape tool that should be underneath your polygon tool, and sometimes it might have the arrows, you know, depending on what tool you use last, but the right there, basic shapes, and when you do that, a flyout comes open, and you can draw these 15 shapes, and to be 100% honest with you, I only used to use the cert or the um, the heart tool to draw a perfect heart now everything on this side of the screen you can't really alter too much and everything on this side of the screen you can alter quite a bit off that same thing if you hold down the control button you get more of a perfect heart and if you don't you can make the heart any shape you want so any of these other items like the lightning tool which is in, all these are in the perfect shape, but there's the lightning, so you can draw a skinny one, or you can hold down your control button and draw one that's more uniform to their thinking. Same thing on the teardrop or in the triangle. You can draw a perfect tri triangle, or you can draw a, a wedge type triangle. And then everything on this side of the screen can be altered quite a bit more. I'm going to try to zoom out here and get rid of some of this stuff uh, so they when you talk and also there's that happy face and we're going to talk about that just real quick too the only tool in the laser engraving I don't really see you're using is this one it's like a folded piece of paper but it can be changed uh, you got a red dot right there and if you grab your shape tool you can move that red dot in different positions and uh, make the tab just a little bit. So any, all these have a red dot, which is a shape figure uh, changer, I guess is what you're going to call it. So you can make this frame less thick. You can make this circle less thick. This one I've used before. You can make this uh, like a no zone less thick this one I, I I use all the time when I'm drawing something because this would be time-consuming to draw this shape and I draw it and just to tell you what I do with it I take that shape right there and there's a lot you can do with that shape but that might be another video because you can take that shape and duplicate it duplicate it and turn it 90 degrees 90 degrees, well, I guess 45 degrees, and then weld that together. I mean, how long would it have taken you to draw that? Well, that's basically a star, but anyway, so all the rest of them that have a red dot, you can change with your shape tool. You can make it skinnier. You can make this thinner. This one, you're not going to really use unless you're drawing a cylinder, but you could you could actually tilt it where it goes back to square. Your um, skewed um, box, which doesn't really do anything, it gets back to a rectangle. So you can do that with almost anything. But you, if you needed a line with two edges on it, the pyramid I've used before with like building a bridge. Anyway, play around with your basic shape tool and see which ones you can manipulate. And as in the previous video, just in case you missed it, uh, the happy face, you can actually turn it to a sad face with the, with the red dot. And then what's so good about these shapes, if you want to use that shape, color fill it in, move your color fill away and you can delete this and then that won't even you know ever cut out because it doesn't have any outlines anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching